Now that the schedule is ready and our artists are assigned to tasks, we need to make sure artists are following along so we have a tightly orchestrated process. We also need to teach our artists how to log their time so that we are tracking it alongside our bids. Before we start, it's helpful if we have a few tasks assigned to us first. So let's do a filter for Mason and then bulk edit the assigned to field and assign to ourselves as well. We'll come back and remove ourselves later. Assigning a task to someone automatically sets the person to follow the task, so they'll get notes and updates in their inbox relating to their tasks. And now that we have these tasks assigned to us, let's navigate to My Tasks. Here we can see all the tasks assigned to me, and this is what all of the artists we're steering will see when tasks are assigned to them. When we select a task, we can see all the information about this task on the right. We can skim the activity stream, find notes, versions, publishes, and see who else is working with me on this asset, shot, spot, or any other deliverable we're working on. In this case, a shot. By default, on the My Tasks page, when a task is selected, it will show us the task's linked entity in the detail pane. Let's take a look at the default sorting we can do with My Tasks. Currently, we see everything is sorted by due date. Since not all of the artists are working on Signal exclusively, we may want to sort by project instead. Once sorted by project, we can easily collapse and expand by the projects we are working on. But for our artists, we want to stick with sorting by due date instead, since that'll help keep them on track, at least for starters. Also note that artists can sort by other fields if they'd like, but we're just setting up the default layout for them to start with. Now that we've set up sorting, we want to check out some filtering options. As we can see, we have some tasks in our list that are already done or not actionable. While it's nice to see that, we're worried this may clutter up our artist view a little, so let's set up a basic filter. We'll select New Save Filter and then call it Actionable. Next, let's filter out any tasks with the Waiting to Start, Final, On Hold, and NA statuses. This will make it so that artists only see tasks that are ready to start and in progress. Perfect. Following along the top bar, we can see that if one of our artists needs to create a task on the fly, for instance, a tech fix on a shot, they can easily do that themselves via the new task creation form if they have the permissions to create tasks. Just note that creating tasks in My Tasks isn't in the context of an entity or project since this is a global view so you want to make sure to link it up appropriately. Lastly, if they need to search for something in their task, like an asset name, shot name, sequence name, and more, they can use the search box to do that. And if they need to do some more granular filtering, they can go to the My Task Filter dropdown and filter by any fields that they have access to see. Now that we like what we see and we know this is what we'd like for all artists to see, We'll go to the gear drop down and select Save Filters and Sort as Default. Now all artists will see the same thing when they visit My Tasks. As noted earlier, they can always filter and sort and arrange tasks to their own needs, but they won't be able to set the default layout like we've done for them. Now let's go back to the task page where we started so that we can sign all those tasks we assigned to ourselves back to the original artist. We can just right click on the Assigned To column again and remove ourselves so that Mason runs solo again. Sorry to leave you forever alone there, bud. If we'd like to set My Tasks as the artist homepage, we can do so via the People page, Homepage field. The artists can also do this themselves via the My Tasks gear menu on the upper right, then by selecting Set as My Homepage. In the intro to the series, we covered that there is a way for admins to assume another user's identity. This comes in handy for troubleshooting for artists, as well as checking and making sure that they are seeing the right things. So instead of assigning a bunch of tasks to ourselves so that we can recreate the artist's environment, we can instead assume their identity by selecting Use as another user from the page dropdown in My Tasks. Now we're going to see what Mason sees in his My Tasks. Note that since we are experiencing Shotgun as Mason with restricted permissions, we won't be able to save over the default layouts. 
All right, now we want to teach our artists how to log their time on each of their tasks. When a task is selected, on the right-hand side of the page, we'll see a selected task, Task Actions drop-down. This box is specific to my tasks and is visible on the Activity tab. From there, an artist can create a new time log. Since the task is already selected, the form will be pre-populated with the correct task information. Now, all I have to do as an artist is fill in the duration and description for the task I've been working on. When I fill in the hours I've worked on a task, once I exit the field, notice how the format translates into the format we have specified in Site Preferences, meaning days versus hours in this case. This setting is a site-wide preference that can be updated via scheduling, default unit for duration fields, days or hours. Additionally, we can specify the time any way that we'd prefer and Shotgun will take care of the conversion. For instance, 8H equals 8 hours, 60M equals 60 minutes, and more. We can also spruce up my tasks a little so it looks more visually appealing to artists. From a task page, we add the task thumbnail field to the page, right click to configure, and then toggle thumbnail based on latest associated version or note. Now, they'll see the latest version linked to their tasks instead of the task icon. Now that we've taught our artists how to log their time, we can see all of the time logs via a time log page. We can create a new global time log page via the new menu, as we learned earlier on, and then just make some updates to spruce it up a little. and we can compare bids against the time logged via scheduling or task page. Another option to help steer our artists is Shotgun Create. Shotgun Create is a desktop experience dedicated to helping artists and supervisors collaborate and iterate more efficiently with Shotgun. We can download and learn more about Shotgun Create via the Apps dropdown. When artists log in, like Mason, They'll see their assigned tasks, along with relevant information like notes, statuses, and due dates, as well as options to submit or review the latest media or jump into their creative apps to get to work. If we know who should be reviewing a specific task, they can be added to the reviewer field in Shotgun or within Shotgun Create. Stay tuned for how to track bids against time logged and comparing field values in the next topic, and more about collaboration later on.